Hey everyone, welcome to the patch 5.1a jungle tier list. In here, I'll be discussing the strongest and weakest junglers in the current meta. Take note that some of these champions can be ranked higher depending on your mastery, and all of these are just from my perspective from playing on higher rank games. With that said, let's get into it. First up is the C tier, or what I can call the meme tier, where all of these champions can jungle, but it's not recommended to use them in your rank games. I know there's a Yasuo there. Yes, he can jungle. If you really want to use the new skin and you got autofill jungle, then it's possible. But of course, don't expect to win when you use these champions. Then we go to the B tier, where all of these champions can jungle decently, but are better off being played in their primary role. Examples of this are Darius, Set, Renekton, and Jax, better played in the Baron lane. Samira, just go to the Dragon lane. And Fizz is suited at the mid lane. The exception is these three champions, Irelia, Graves, and Trindamir. Even though they can be played in other lanes, jungle is a good possibility for them. Let's start first with Trindamir. Very RNG reliant, but I've seen some jungle Trindamirs do really well. And they can be pushed up into the A tier. But generally, there's also a lot of bad Trindamirs that don't do anything at the game at all. Next up is Graves. His primary role is the jungle, but he's just so weak right now in the meta. Possibly the weakest hyperscaling jungler right now. If you're able to snowball, then good. But otherwise, he can't provide much aside from damage. And if you look at the current jungle pool, all of the higher tier junglers can provide damage and something else which Graves can't do right now. Still possible for the A tier if you're a Graves one trick and you're able to pilot him well. Irelia, super high skill cap champion. That's why she's placed here. If you're an Irelia main, then possible jungle, mid, and Baron flex. But otherwise, if you don't have enough mastery on this champion, it's really hard to pull this off. Then we go to the A tier where most of the meta junglers can be found. Some of these champions can even go to the S tier depending on your own and the opponent team compositions. An example of this would be Pantheon. When faced with a squishy lineup, he would definitely shine the most, getting an early snowball and just winning the game on his own. Sinjao, in a similar boat, really good when snowballing, has good defensive capabilities, and can burst the opponent pretty fast. Camille. Really stable, the only problem with this champion is getting that first item. Once she's able to get the Triforce, then she's gonna be super hard to fight against. Lilia, Echo, both getting buffs in the recent patch, which makes them really good right now. But it's not enough to push them in the S tier because they still need to scale, get their level 13 power spike to be able to carry their games. Kane, I think, is very self-explanatory. If the opponents have a lot of range, then he's definitely S-tier so that he could get his form and just burst everyone in one combo. Jace is a low-key strong jungler because no one uses him that much. But if you're able to use him effectively, especially if the opponent have no sustain, his pokes would deal a lot of damage and you could just instantly win fights without them being started at all. Olaf is a champion that was... On the S tier, now down to the A tier. Despite getting buffs with the current damage right now in the game, he just gets bursted by everyone. Really hard to snowball, but if he's able to get the perfect team composition to play against, then he can definitely shine. Shivana, a farm hungry jungler, really good once you're able to get your items. Very similar boat with Lillian Echo, really strong once they get their power spike. Wukong, despite being reworked, I think is a stable A-tier jungler. You could go for the one-shot build, which is very risky but rewarding, or just go for the standard bruiser build. Either is fine, and he specializes a lot on engaging as well as outplaying your opponent. Gragas is very 50-50. It's either you just win the game on your own or you don't do anything. This is what happens with AP Burst champions. I'd rather pick Echo and Lilia since they have the ability to kite, unlike Gragas who's more of an all-in champion. Fiddlesticks is very interesting. This guy can shine depending on the situation. If the opponents have a lot of melee or diving in their team, 
then Fiddlesticks can just go for the easy counter engage, ace everyone, and win on his own. Otherwise, it's a very team comp dependent champion. If your own team has no frontline, then it's very hard to use him as well. Ramos benefits a lot from the thorn mail buff, but I think it's still stable in the A tier. Tank junglers are not having it right now because of all of the damage present, which is why most of them are in this tier. Fiora is a good jungler. I'd rather have her in the Baron lane, but when it comes to jungling, she absolutely destroys the enemy jungler's early game. But the problem is the mid game where she's almost irrelevant. You need to get your three items before she's able to become useful again. Volibear, potential S tier jungler, depends on the matchup, destroys all of the bruiser junglers like Jarvan, Vi, etc. when it comes to the 1v1. The only problem is that he can easily get kited, and if he's not able to snowball the early game, he's just gonna be a punching bag. Gwen is another hyperscaling jungler. As I said before, her only weakness is the early game where her ganks are not that effective as compared to the other hyperscaling junglers, which puts her here. But aside from that, once she's able to get to the late game, obviously, she is an S-tier jungler. Jarvan, despite getting a new skin, is still stuck in this tier. The biggest issue with this champion right now is the Hex Flash. Because the champions that have no dashes can escape his ultimate just by using Hex Flash. So even though you burn their flash and they have Hex Flash equipped, you can never trap them and this affects Jarvan a lot. Morgana, a very chill jungler, really strong in the right hands if you're able to hit their binds. Benefits a lot from the Infinity Orb plus Leandri, but I think she's a stable A tier jungler. Rengar, getting a bit stronger on his burst build because of the item changes. It's still very risky to use this guy. If you're not able to get ahead, then he's pretty much useless. If you miss your ulti, then he can't contribute as much. The tanky build, as I said earlier, not good right now because there's so much burst in the game. Nunu, similar boat with Ramos. Even though he got buffed as well, it's not good enough for him to be placed in the S tier. Same boat as Shen. Good early game, but once it gets to the later stages, he just becomes an ulti, bot, or a mid shield. Zed jungle, very fun to play. Stable A tier champion. If you want to play an assassin junglers, there are stronger ones in the higher tiers. Diana. A lot of people have been putting her in S tier, but I'm not convinced after playing her since she's like Gragas, but even more all in. So if you go all in, you get exhausted, they dodge your combo, you're pretty much dead, and her farm is not the fastest. So I'd rather use Echo or Lilia compared to Diana. Warwick, a champion that's strong in the lower ranks, but struggles in the higher ranks, making him a stable A tier pick. Amumu. As a tank jungler, suffers the same fate as Ramos and Nunu. You could build him AP, but QSS just counters this champion if you go for pure AP. Nila has gotten jungle nerfs in the patches before, but I think she's a stable A tier going to the B tier because she can't contribute anything much in the early game. Master Yi... Despite getting the rework, I still think is a solid A tier champion. He has more skill expression, but the core problems are still the same. Where you need to have a team to go in first, then you follow up to try to get those resets. Last is Dr. Mundo. Even with the hard steel, he's pretty much better in the Baron lane so that you could stack it as fast as possible. Next up is the S tier where all of these junglers have the capacity to carry the game when put ahead. An example is Kindred, which is the newest jungler right now. Initially placed in the S plus tier on release due to how broken she was, but after numerous nerfs, she's been brought down to S tier, which is still very, very strong. The reason why is because before, even though she doesn't get any marks, she could just burst everyone in one combo. Now, She's a bit more reliant on marks, so if you're able to get ahead, snowball your items, she's pretty much the same as before. 
the only problem with Kindred is that when you're put behind, not only will you lock in damage, you're also going to be very squishy, making you an easy target to take down. So if you're able to use this champion properly, she's definitely still in the S tier, possible S plus tier, if you get those early marks. Then we go to Vi, who is the most flexible jungler right now. She can engage, become durable, have a lot of DPS, and really strong ganks. She can pretty much do everything, especially with the Heart Seal plus Titanic combo, making her the best jack of all trades right now. After this would be Nautilus, who is also pretty flexible, pretty much an AP Vi. You could go for the Chinese build, which is pure AP one shot, or you could also go for the Asia build, which is the semi AP Nautilus. Super annoying ganks if you're against this champion. He just presses ult, no way to go out, and has a lot of crowd control built in his kit. Then we go to Aatrox, another champion that hasn't seen much play recently, but still very, very effective. If you're able to utilize his sweet spots, get the resets, he, he can pretty much carry games on his own. Yone is a champion that has gotten even stronger in this patch. Because Blade of the Ruined King now costs lower and helps him deal a lot more damage. You could also build Infinity Edge and this would even increase his burst even further, making him a scarier champion. I was initially thinking of putting him in S+, but S is a much safer option. If you're a Yone main, then definitely this is one of the best champions right now. Flexible in the mid, Baron, and Jungle role. Riven is another flexible champion, but is more based on mobility. You wanna be very proactive and use her skills to annoy the opponents as much as possible. The only problem with Riven, if she falls behind, it's gonna be very hard to team fight with her. But other than that, a very very solid pick. After this would be Kha'Zix. Benefits a lot from the Ghost Blade. He can now burst people faster. If you're able to get those early picks, then he could just destroy everyone in one combo. Last would be Eve, who is another champion that benefits a lot from all of the item reworks. Rabadon increasing her burst. Infinity Orb doing the same as well. Once you're able to get your three items, you pretty much just burst everyone in one combo. Lastly is the S plus tier, where these three champions are most commonly seen in the ban phase. Talon. Super strong right now, really fast clear, high burst, good mobility, great objective control, pretty much can do everything that Kha'Zix can do, but better. This is the most banned jungler right now. Then we go to Hecarim, despite not receiving any changes, which is surprising, still very strong, crazy engage, can snowball the game once he gets ahead, and it's super hard to stop this champion. Last on the list is Lee Sin. Really good champion, especially in high ranks. If you're able to utilize his kit well, get an early lead, the game is pretty much done because no one would be able to fight him when it comes to the 1v1. The only issue is his skill cap, and if you're not able to utilize his kit, then he might struggle a bit. But aside from that, very very solid champion to play. And this is our jungle tier list for patch 5.1a. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down below. Take note that some of these champions can be placed higher depending on your mastery and this is all based on playing the Asian server as well as the Chinese server in high rank lobbies. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. That is it for me. Thanks for watching and peace out. Ciao ciao. Bye.